assisted suicide should be made legal in the United States. Would you want to live your life suffering for pain knowing that you will die someday after all suffering? Or would you just give up everything and rest in peace? Living in pain will just be pain not only for you but your parents as well. Watching you suffer from every second will also make them suffer. They would probably wish it was them instead of you. And you wouldn't want them to be hurt, would you? Your decision is important not only for you, but also for the people who love you and don't want you to be hurt. Physicians should be able to assist patients in suicide because it eases their suffering. A lot of patients and their parents ask this question. Would you or any person you love want to have to live with a condition you absolutely don't want to have or may not know you have because you aren't able to think, eat, or breathe on your own? Or would you just be ready to end the suffering and pain because you know that you will live the rest of your life like this and no amount of help or treatments will work? Patients should be, have the right to choose if they want assisted suicide. We have the right of privacy. According to the 14th Amendment, none of the states shall deny any person of life, liberty, or property without expected process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. No one should be forced to choose assisted suicide, nor should they be forced not to choose it. Most doctors support assisted suicide. The following quote comes from the New York Times article, Who May Die, by Jennifer Madina. It highlights the thoughts of Christy Allen's 63-year-old woman suffering from stage 4 colon cancer. What I have said to them is, were you comfortable the first time you did chest surgery? Were you comfortable the first time you drew blood? I don't understand when being uncomfortable became a reason not to do something in medicine. We make uncomfortable decisions all the time. When somebody says, I'm ready to end dialysis and let myself die, that's a momentous decision and it may make us uncomfortable. The best answer I can get is that it is a difference of mechanics. But we are agreeing that they are ready to die. It's that the mechanism seems fairly irrelevant. irrelevant. We always listen to the patient. We never tell a patient, this is what you have to do. You have no choice. Yet at the moment, when their life is ending, they say, I don't want to leave this. I don't want to live in this bed for the next three weeks waiting to die. It's an odd change in the consent procedure. Suddenly they become wrong and we become right. That doesn't make sense to me. Dying should not be completely separate from everything else we do in medicine. At the time of her giving the score, she had undergone four rounds of and was living in his spike care. When doctors think that you are in a very bad condition, all they think of is how to make you feel better. There are some doctors who think of their reputation first, instead of your well-being. So when you ask them you want to leave everything and die, they would actually be happy instead of helping you or trying to convince you to stay alive. Same goes with your parents. They only think of you being in peace and not in pain. So they choose to let you go for your own sake.